So I got into over-the-fire cooking uh, about three years ago after I saw um, an amazing chef from South America cooking gourmet food over a fire. And I grew up outdoors, uh, grew up hanging out and doing campfires and cooking hot dogs and burgers. And I just never knew um, how much delicious food I was missing out on from cooking over a fire. So uh, I bought a pop-up grill and build a campfire and my wife had a camera and we just went in the backyard and started cooking and uh, we cooked skirt steak and chimichurri with potatoes and it must have been like beginner's luck because it was perfect and I decided then if I was gonna cook I was gonna cook over fire Why I love cooking over fire is because it's a challenge. Um, because fire is obviously dynamic, uh, every cook is different. Um, things can taste similar, but almost every time everything tastes just a little different, whether it's the meat that you got from your local butcher or um, the firewood that you're using the day, the, um, you know, the weather outside, all that stuff. So. I think that that's one of my favorite reasons for cooking over fire, but honestly, I think that there's something like inherent to us as humans um, that fire cooking is essential. Uh, it, it's a part of who we are. Um, literally, you can see when you make a fire, controlled fire, campfire, bonfire, whatever you're doing, people like are just naturally gravitate towards it and they want to sit near it and stay warm. Um, it's a place of comfort, community. Honestly, it, it's, it's something that brings us all together. It's like the original TV, the original heart of the home. It is the heart of the home. The fun thing for me too is, I mean, I feel like if, if you can cook it, I can probably find a way to cook it over fire. Every culture uh, has a fire cooking history. Um, whether you're talking about Africa, South Africa, uh, and the braai, um, which is like, a, it's, you know, it's a staple piece of South African culture, a, a grilling and cooking over fire. Um, you have asado, um, you have churrasco, you have rodizio, um, you have American barbecue, uh, I mean, most native, uh, native cultures have a style or a way that they cook something um, over open pit. And the fun thing is, is being able to see cultures that had nothing in common, completely different, um, cooking kind of in similar fashions. I mean, you have, you know, uh, barbacoa in Mexico where you're able to put it into the ground and then you have pig um, in the Samoan culture for a luau that you put into a ground too. You have that pits like that found in South America. Um, you know, you have Americanized, a lot of Americanized barbecue was influenced from Native American um, and African cultures showing off that kind of way of cooking. So I think that it's, there's not a lot that brings people together, but somehow fire cooking seems to do it. I started working in corporate America and I loved my job, uh, but I, I wanted to do something for myself. Um, fell in love with fire cooking and I started my page and my website and stuff like that. 
Um, and you know, long story short, I was able to get out of corporate America. I think that the cool thing about fire cooking um, is that there is a community out there that is interested. Um, there's people that love it, and there's cultures even outside of the United States um, that have a deep, rich history um, with fire cooking. I believe with grills and fire pits like Brio coming along with this advancement in technology, um, I believe uh, in people being able to cook easier over fire, uh, I believe it's just gonna continue to get more and more popular. Everybody's looking towards the future and the onslaught of problems that are going on. Um, and I truly believe that maybe some of the answers are in the future. Maybe we already learned them, we just forgot. I think the one thing that the older generations learn as they continue to get older is that food isn't just food. Like that's why it's a big deal when you say, I'm, you know, I'm gonna break bread with somebody or I'm gonna, um, that you're gonna sit down at my table because you own like back in the past eating with somebody was an event because it took a lot of hard work and I think that feeding somebody um, and who you fed were all people that you cared about it was a show it was showing of love and it was a showing of connection people ask me why do I cook over fire and I give them the answer because somebody has to um, and they're always kind of like, that doesn't make any sense. But I always say, truth is like, technology in um, cooking is amazing. And it's changed everything. And I think we've found our place where um, we actually have so much technology, we might be able to step back a little bit and maybe go into the roots of why we started cooking to begin with. Not only was it, we don't have to worry about sustenance really anymore, especially in Western culture. Um, but fire cooking is something innately human. And I think it connects us to our past, who we were, our, our ancestors, everything, whatever you wanna call it, it connects us to our past. It helps us to stay in our present and it gives us perspective for our future.